Hi, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is don't let social media damage your self-esteem. Now this isn't necessarily a dating and relationship question or topic, but it is related to day-to-day -day activity that we deal with all the time now. Most of us, because we're social distance, we are having to relay through, you know, online a lot more. We're doing Zoom, we're doing all sorts of things that maybe we weren't as interactive on as before. So what I'm finding though is people are venting and they're venting a lot. And what's happening is they are sort of toying with people's confidence levels and, and knocking down what they are posting online. And this is really hurtful. Now, a lot of people think, well, you're fair game. If you're putting stuff out on the internet, you're fair game. Well, I guess you could say that's partly true, but you shouldn't have to get to the point where you're putting yourself online as an angry person and retaliating on people's posts and posting nasty things or, or bullying things or just stuff to, because you're frustrated. And this is what's happening. And people feel that they are allowed to do this. It's free reigns. A lot of people are branding themselves online now. This is how they're getting their business out there. And so they are putting a lot more of themselves into the social media platforms. And so what's happening is, as much as we might not wanna do that on a regular basis, we'd rather kind of be behind the scenes with our business, it doesn't always go that way. Now it's really hard not to interact if somebody's really mean and really nasty on one of your posts, but the best thing you could do would be to either ignore them or come back with a really good comment that makes them think, makes them think about their actions because this is not okay to be treating people like this. You're not fair game, you're still a human. And almost all of us are on some form of social media right now. So does that mean we're all the target and we all should be getting attacked by certain people with their nastiness and, and whatever they wanna throw at you? I disagree and I think that we should all respect each other's space on their platforms. If somebody's saying something on there to get a rise, well, that's a different story. But if you're just going about your day, posting a nice picture, posting something uh, about whatever's going on in your business, and people are making snarky comments and, and ridiculing you, this isn't okay. And there are some things that are being done on a lot of platforms right now for these type of comments, which is good, but people are still getting through. And you wake up in the morning, you go look at your stuff, somebody said something mean, it sets your mood off for the day. This is how much it's affecting a lot of people. Not everybody can shrug things off like other, other ones can. We're all different with our sensitivities and our insecurities and what we're dealing with. But it's not okay to do this. Like, even look at Meghan Markle and Prince Harry and all the stuff going on there. Like, it's really, really hurtful. And you'll get one or two people who think they know exactly what's going on in somebody's life and put all this information out there. But nobody really knows but the person that's being attacked or being talked about or whatever is going on in, within social media. This also happens with dating. Like, you're, you're on, a, on a dating site and your self-esteem is taking a beating because you might be liking somebody's picture, nobody's liking yours back. Or you like the picture, they like you back, nothing happens. This takes a huge toll on your psyche, on who you are as a person. It doesn't matter how strong you are, we still have a little bit of an ego, we have a heart, and we have things that tarnish our, you know, just how we feel about everyday life. And when this continually happens and we're always being mean to each other, how are we going to improve? How are we going to become a better person? We're always hurt. We're always dealing with stuff. <sighs> I just really wish people would stop doing this. And, and if somebody posts a picture and it's just a normal picture and 
you feel that you need to comment on how terrible they look or they have gained 10 pounds or whatever, keep your comments to yourself. It's not necessary to, to react like that. If you're feeling really bad about things in your life, try and see somebody, try and fix it. Because lashing out at other people really doesn't make you feel good at the end of the day. You may think it does, but you know in your heart it's not a good feeling. So a lot of people are hurting right now. There's a lot of stuff going on because of the pandemic. There's a lot of people who've lost jobs. There's a lot of mental health issues right now. But there's some people who have just always been the kind that looks for a fight. They look for something. They almost troll the, the, the internet to find something that they can have a discussion or argument about. But don't interact with them. Try not to get all, all frustrated and, and mad. It's, it's hard not to. But I mean, look at, look at the source. Half of them don't even have a profile photo. They don't have anything about themselves. And there's a lot of YouTube channels where people don't, don't have any subscribers. They just go on and comment. Sometimes they make really nice comments. I'm not saying everybody's like that, but social media is here to stay. There's a lot of really great things about it for dating and relationships as well. But we're starting to make it become a scary place because we're not interacting in the kindest possible way that we can. We're finding things to vent about. We're finding things to shout about that maybe is annoying us. Maybe it's a political thing. And that's okay if you're constructive. If you want to put something out on social media to get somebody's attention, be thoughtful with what you say. Make a difference with what you say. We're all dealing with stuff right now and it is a really tough time. So social media is becoming even more of a target for people to bully each other and to be aggressive with each other. And I really think that we can use it to our benefit in the other way. And so don't fall into the trap of joining a group of people who are bashing somebody online and becoming a part of that team because you want to be on the other side of the team. You don't want to be intervening and being just as bad as those other people because if it becomes about you one day and you're the one that's being targeted, you're going to understand how painful and how hurtful that is because every day you look at your social media, there's another nasty comment. It just breaks your heart after a while. So please be kind to each other and let's try and get this world into a happier place, please. <laughs> let's just try and make it happy. Let's not be posting negative comments. Anyway, that's what I have to say here today on Dear Cyber Sue. Leave your comments. Make sure they're nice. No bullying. 